People love to tell me they know amputees that stay in. Every Marine's a rifleman. It was really hard for me to do all of the Marine Corps things outside of my job. But there was actually a Marine in Wounded Warrior Battalion when I was there. Stop me and he's like, whatever you do, get out now with your benefits. He was a Marine. He got blown up in Afghanistan, lost his right leg. He ended up rehabbing and redeploying as an amputee. Inevitably, his body started breaking down. And he's like, okay, I guess it's time. I'm going to get out of the Marine Corps. They were telling him, well, your amputation is not a disqualifying factor anymore. You proved that you can continue your job with an amputation. Therefore, you get no disability for it. He's like, suck up your ego and just get out now if you want the benefits the way you're supposed to. This system is so broken. It's so hard to get benefits that you deserve. Either people have messed up in the past or people in charge just don't know what they're talking about. People love to... Shalom. Kahalayim la Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone as GMS. Peace and bless to the Akim and a few Akawat across the four winds. It's your brother Batamaya from Great Millstone Houston. Coming to you with a quick hit. Now I saw this and I've been around a lot of military personnel and I've heard a lot of stories about how they don't receive benefits, you know, from injuries or you know what what not or whatnot. You know, there's a lot of homeless veterans, you know, you've been to war, you should be taken care of for life. And, you know, your family also, you know, had, um, I was to say close family that's been involved in not receiving benefits. But the precept that came to mind was Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 26, verse 28. There be two things that grieve my heart or mine. And the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffereth poverty and men of understanding that are not set by, and one that returneth from righteousness to sin, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, prepare such an one for the sword. So, hey, the main point I wanted to get was a man of war that suffered poverty. You're not supposed to go to war, you know, for the wicked Esau Edom in the first place if you're an Israelite, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American. Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, is the devil. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All he does is deceive. He lies. You know, he wants to use our talents because he knows that we're God's chosen people, you know, that we're better than them. And he send us out as puns, you know, our people. But hey, that makes the Lord angry. And then also that's something that's been happening too within the, in Israel is you have men of understanding that once in a fold going back into the world or teaching different doctrines, you know, ultimately sinning, sin brings forth death. And that's the bottom of the, at the end of the scripture says the Lord prepares such a one for the sword. Hey, you're going back to your vomit. You're going to end up getting the sword in the missile. You might get uh, drafted into this world war three, you know, down in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Hey, ultimately, when you have a child returns, you're going to be sent to the spirit world. You know, you're going to be part of that, that Armageddon, that Armagawan, the, um, the mountain of troops. It's going to be your body laying there that's going to be set forth for the heathens to come pick it up. You know, once we are in rulership on the Yahweh and King David, you know, in the kingdom of heaven here on earth. You know, we're going to have slaves, you know, we're going to be continual employment. You know, that should make us happy. But, you know, we're not going to learn war anymore. But if we were to have war, you know, our men, women and children would be taken care of. That's what you're supposed to do. But I didn't want to drag this on too long. The Lord willingness was edifying to the hopeful elect. Call Halayim La, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that's GMS. Peace and blessings to the Akim and the Akwath across the four winds. Shalom. Kwame Yashallah.